What's up everybody, this is Tsunami, and I want to do something a little bit different today. What I have here is a laptop that's five years old. I got it for my mom five years ago. She's a college professor and needed a reliable laptop, and I got this Dell XPS 13, and this was the very first kind of very thin micro bezel laptop on the market. It was fantastic at the time. Um, it's now five years old. I've replaced mom's laptop here with a new Surface laptop for her, which she's now using uh, for her work. Um, so what I thought we'd do today is crack this thing open and take a look at what the insides of a five-year-old laptop look like that's been like regularly used. Credit to mom for just keeping this thing in exceptionally good condition. If you take a look at it, we have uh, the laptop has got no scratches, no blemishes. It's been regularly used for five years. No major issues here. It looks really, really great. We take a look at the back, also in excellent condition, and I've already started removing the Torx T5 screws on the back. I can't wait to get inside of it. I gotta take a few more and open this back panel here to take off the final screws, and let's see what's inside. Today I'm using my handy little iFixit kit here to crack inside the laptop. Um, most of these screws were Torx T5 screws here. Um, this is what I used mostly, um, but curveball. There was a tiny little triple zero size Phillips screw here underneath this plate, um, but the good thing I have that, and I shall not. iFixit is not sponsoring this video. I just think this thing is fantastic, and everybody who wants to get inside of a laptop ought to have one. We're going to use this little tool here to pry the edges off here, which are clipped down on the laptop. Let me get that off real quick. Yeah, this back panel is clipped down really good, so I had to use this tool instead. I'm not going to lie to you. That was really unpleasant and difficult to do, but I did manage to pry off this back panel. So let's take a look here. Voila. Here we are insides of a five-year-old, very well-used laptop. Okay, so um, we are looking at here uh, the storage drive. Yeah, there's that right there. And some fans that look like, whoo, look at the dust in there. Yep. It's five years worth of dust in that fan, which I'm going to try to... Uh, dust up and clean off a little bit and mostly what I just want to do is clean up the inside of this thing here and just repurpose this for just some very very light use until it just doesn't want to go anymore so um, that drive looks a lot cleaner than I expected actually um, and uh, on the back panel here is just some pads I think to keep things cool yeah I think that's that's what that's supposed to do so um, uh, let me get to it, and we'll take a look here when I am done. I'm still really surprised at how clean this laptop is on the inside after five good years of use here. Um, I got a chance to dust out the fan a little bit. I didn't disconnect it or anything. I just kind of dusted all around it to try to get some of the big chunks off of it, wiped everything down, uh, dust away, dusted away all of the particles that were kind of all around. It was very powdery in here, so that all has been cleaned up now. I took particular care to uh, clean up the inside of the back panel here so now that's nice and clean it was covered in dust and powder in here i'm just gonna put this right back on here and just make sure everything is running okay real quick if i wanted to make the internet faster on this laptop all i would need to do is just kind of unscrew this little screw here and um take out this wireless card. So I could just unscrew it here and take out this little wireless card and that could update the internet speed here if I wanted to and I could just put a bigger drive in here. Uh, but this has been fine for my use. Um, if, if, it, if it feels too sluggish, I can do that. But I just wanna kinda get a few, just a little bit more life out of the, this little guy. Um, it's done great so far, I'm pretty happy with it. Just put the back plate back on by pressing down the clips and getting make sure everything clipped is all around and in the middle of the device. Got every little bit of it pressed back down and clipped back on. It 
actually takes a lot of force to get all those clips back on and then was able to put the Torx T5 screws back on and that secret hidden triple uh, zero size Phillips screw back on and now let's turn the laptop on and see if I haven't fried this thing. Here we go. And this is what success looks like. Everything boots up perfectly well. Computer looks really great. My goodness, a Dell XPS 13, five years of regular use and still growing really, really strong here. So mom's got a nicer, prettier Surface laptop. It's a little bit faster. Hopefully that'll keep her held over for a couple of years. I'm gonna try to eke as much uh, life out of this little guy as I possibly can, but really happy with how all of this came out and now it's nice and clean on the inside. This is Tsunami. Thanks so much for watching. For more kind of tech, gaming, and all kinds of fun videos, uh, keep checking us out. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.